Hello and welcome everyone to my channel Code with Ease. So as part of the binary search series that we are doing, uh, here is another question on that. How to find the smallest letter greater than the target. So before we discuss on the question further, just a few things on binary search. Uh, I have also covered it in my previous video. And I always say this at the beginning of any, any algorithm specific questions that although we are trying to create a series based on certain algorithms, uh, also certain data structures, so to say. If you are given a scenario where you are preparing for a coding interview, um, if you are given a question, obviously you are not going to be told that this is the algorithm that you have to use or this is the data structure you are going to use unless it is specified otherwise. Uh, so when you are trying to solve a certain question, be it falling under a certain fancy algorithm or it is related to loops or any data structure, there are few hints, there are few indications that you need to pick up from the question and uh, from there you have to understand what should be the correct approach, the correct data structure, the correct algorithm for solving this. So in case of binary search also you have to pick up the hints from the questions that okay, when are we actually applying a binary search? The when are we applying, why are we applying this when and why are more important than how then the how of the uh, question like how you are doing the question how you are applying the algorithm is secondary primary thing is try to understand the when the, the the scenario when are you going to apply for that you have to understand the why behind it why are we even using this once these two things are clear it will be very easy to solve any question uh, related to any algorithm or any question in general so for, for this question also uh, we, will, we are going to do the same thing. We are going to pick up the hints and then we are going to see how to anyway solve it using uh, binary research. So let's go through the problem statement. What is given over here is there's a characters array and this is sorted in non-decreasing order and there's a character target which uh, and then we have to return the smallest character in the array that is larger than the target. Note that the letters wrap around. Okay, so let's pause over here. Now what are the hints that we can get? First of all, it's saying that there is a given um, array of letters and that is sorted in non-decreasing or it is sorted in ascending order. So as we know, for binary search to work, this algorithm to work, the array, the data structure has to be sorted. And that's, that is what is already given to us. But it is not a very uh, obvious hint always because there might be scenarios when the data structure is not even sorted, but we ourselves have to sort it and then apply the algorithm, uh, algorithm to it. But in most cases, I've seen that... Um, data structure is already sorted that that thing is given so that's the first hint second hint is since it is a search algorithm right binary search is a searching algorithm at any point in time you must be told to find an element to search for an element to look up for a certain element here also we are trying to find something so when that keyword find is coming that is also an indication that we have to use some kind of a searching algorithm it can be binary search it can be any other algorithm also so that is the other other hint and apart from that, there can also be some hints on divide and conquer strategy. Um, for that, what it what is given? This was something similar that we did in the previous question. It was uh, it was told that about the time complexities, like um, it, the the question has to be solved in certain given time complexity, log in complexity, or the question has to be solved in doing minimum number of operations. So that kind of time bound uh, uh, constraints which is given, that can also be an indication of that it is a uh, binary search question. So these are some of the things which we have to understand while trying to do any questions. So now without further delay, let's try to understand what this question is about. So note that the letters wrap around. For example, if the target is Z and the letters are A and B, the answer is A. Okay, so we'll come up, uh, come to this wrap around scenario a bit while uh, a while later. So first of all, let's understand overall. We have this characters array. We have a certain target, and we have to search for that. Not only that, we have to search for that character in the array which is smallest but larger than the target. Okay. So if we go through the example, C, F, J are the characters and target is A. The smallest element, the smallest character which is also greater than A is considered to be C. C is not C is not just greater than A but C is the smallest among this uh, array also. Uh, if you see in this uh, second example, target is C and then Anything greater than C, the smallest, the next greater element will be F. So that is why F is being returned. Now, if you talk about this scenario where the letters wrap around, what it essentially means is if you have reached a, a certain scenario where the given target okay, is greater 
than the last element like in this case z is greater than b so in that case the first element is returned that is a this can be one scenario or it can be such that the given target element is is uh, is lesser than the last element like a is lesser than j so in that case we are returning c because after a the smallest if we go by that uh, uh, by by going that uh, circular loop after a c is there than f and j so if the element that we are looking for the target is actually lesser than the last element then we are wrap, wrapping around and giving the first element we are returning that so these two conditions we have to consider apart from that it is a normal binary search algorithm that we have to use we will use the pointers and we have to search it so with that now let's uh, try to solve this question so let's start by writing the code for this first of all let's consider the edge case and uh, in that we are going to consider the scenario where the letters are going to wrap around so we'll put this condition if the target that we have that character is greater than the last element of this array uh, for doing that we'll also take this variable n so that will be letters dot length so we'll say if that is greater than the last element which is this case z is greater than b or if the given target is lesser than the first element which is this case where uh, here where a is lesser than the first so in that in both the cases we are going to return the first element itself this is the edge case for us and this is going to take care of the wrap around scenario Apart from this, if this condition is not true, is when we are going to apply the binary search algorithm. We'll define the low and high pointers, and then we'll have the loop. Inside this, we are going to calculate the mid, which we do by low plus high minus low by two. So there are three scenarios uh, whenever we are writing uh, this algorithm inside the while loop. First is if the mid, that element, if it is exactly equal to the target, then return that. Otherwise, we check if it is lesser than take a call, uh, increase the low pointer ahead and if it is greater, decrease the high pointer. But in this case, we don't need an exact match. Our goal of this question is to find something which is greater than the target. So, we are not going to consider the, the condition where something is equal to this. So, directly what we will do is, we will check if the element of, at this mid, if this is lesser than whatever we have the target. So, for example, this this array. So, in the first case, C is actually less than equal to. So, we can take this as it is less than equal to. If it is lesser than equal to, so what we can do is we can try to go ahead. Because if it is lesser than equal to and we want something greater than the target, we would want to go ahead. So, we will just increment the low pointer. Else, if it is not less than equal to, obviously, it is going to be greater. So, if by chance we get something which is greater than the given target, like F, Suppose we are at f and f is greater than c and that exactly what that is exactly what we want. So, in that case, there can be two things. I would also want to check before f if there is any other letter. It might be possible, let's say there is a d. So, d is also greater than c but it, that is smaller than f and we want the smallest letter but greater than target. If d was there, we, we wanted to return d instead of f. So, what we will do is we will also store this uh, character somewhere and then we will decrement the high pointer. We will store the index value of this. We'll, let's say initially it's 0 and we'll store the index. So the index will be mid and then we will decrement the pointer i minus minus. So in that way we have stored it assuming that can be a potential answer and we are also going back to look for another element which is smaller than what we have got. If we get it's fine. If we don't get we are going to anyway return the answer. So that's all uh, about this uh, logic inside the while loop and finally we have to return this has to be a character. So, we will return letters of that uh, index, whatever we have got. That's all. Now, let's run this. We'll submit. Yeah, so that's all about this question. Find smallest letter greater than target. Simple application of binary search with a small uh, trick in between where this condition is being put where the letters need to wrap around otherwise it's a simple and straightforward application of binary search so do stay tuned for uh, more questions which are going to come up as part of the binary search interview series and you can also let me know in the comments below uh, if you have any specific question in mind and you would want a solution for that to be discussed on the channel do let us know in the comments for that thank you so much